Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is an embellishment overload and it was inspired by this mood board shared uh, over at the Hip Kid Club Facebook group. And I was inspired by those like little rolled up papers, but I'm not gonna roll any papers. I'm just gonna use sort of paper strips in a rainbow arrangement and yeah I love how this layout turned out right now I'm just picking and choosing patterns um, like from different tones so I'm gonna use um, pink orange yellow green blue and purple tones of patterned paper and I'm gonna add lots of paper layers I thought about using that scripty paper as my base, but it was just gonna be too much. Plus, it, it was just like, it was, my paper layers weren't going to stand out from that layout. So, here's what I do. I start cutting up roughly two inch, two by 12 inch of, well, F, my base patterns base strips of patterned paper are going to be roughly two inch wide um the idea i have you'll see as i um, start layering them here i am going to try and leave these this tiny gap between them you can see some of them measure two inch wide others are slightly smaller but they're the bigger chunks of patterned paper and I'm just gonna randomly cut them up into different lengths like so and you know me and my mixed media I bring in six different colors of shimmers one of them is Bed of Roses, mixed with Razzle Dazzle Berry. Then I sprayed some Freshly Squeezed, followed by Ye Little Yellow School Bus, Hermit the Frog, Jenny B. Blue, and Princess. And then I go again, I go in with the color. Oh, excuse me, it's not Bed of Roses, it's Cotton Candy. So I used Instead of using red, I used more like per pinkish colors. And then I went over with the sprays just to fill in any gaps. And then I rolled over my paper towel just to dry it up quickly. And here I've placed to the left side of my cutting mat, um, well, my glass mat, um, the colors, the, the bigger strips of patterned paper. And I'm just cutting away different pieces of patterned paper and just like placing them on top of each other um, according to their colors. So I'm trying to have at least four strips of each color um, just so that I have lots of papers that I can play around and layer. And really it's it was crazy for me to see how this uh, layout evolved uh, as I kept adding paper and I kept adding um, different embellishments and whatnot and I love how this turned out it's also by doing this sort of layout it all it's also a good way of using up your paper stash and using up your embellishment stash so my base is not quite dry yet and but I'm trying to like sort of um, practice rehearse <laughs> I'm trying to place my papers I'm not gluing anything down but since I have a lot of patterned paper I'm trying to like um, 
see how it's going to look and I like it. So I go ahead and glue all the bases down. So uh, what I mean by bases, it's the bigger strips of patterned paper. And I'm going to start tucking in, adding, layering on top of each other. Some of the patterned paper, um, especially the, th one of the thinner strips are popped up on some craft foam just for some added dimension. And I'm doing this like so, so that I can have just like a tiny peek of all those gorgeous colors and patterns um, like throughout the whole layout. And also by doing it, like having different patterns, they don't all have a true, like they're not the same green, not the same purples, but by doing that, it sort of works to create sort of this like ombre-ish look. And I didn't even plan that. So as you can see, my paper layers are different widths, different lengths. I thought about distressing each and every one of them, but it was going to be too tedious. And it would end up adding too much of a bumpiness and bulkiness that I didn't want on my layout. So I just, you know, I just used, um, I just have straight edges on all my papers. And there, I'm done with my paper strips. I think, or no, I'm not. Because I noticed that I had uh, an empty space between the orange and yellow sections, so I added another extra piece of pattern to paper. And then I was like, okay, what picture I'm going to document with this um, layout? Because this layout came out differently. I usually have a picture that inspires the layout, but this one was like the mood board inspired the layout, which inspired the picture that I'm going to use. And the picture that I'm going to use finally is that of my husband and I when we honeymooned at Walt Disney World. Um, to add a pop of black, I chose this white with black polka dot paper um, from the Illustrated Faith collection by Bella Boulevard. I think that's from like 2012, 2015, around that time frame. I trim my white cardstock a bit just so that you can get like that little pop of, um, uh, pop of black <laughs> coming out from the borders, like the sides of my layout. My picture, I just trim off a bit and mat it on some white cardstock, trim off the excess, and I'm going to be placing it right there, and it's also going to be pop, pop, popped up on some craft foam. And then I was like, I think I'm going to add some black stamps. I don't do it straight onto the layout, which is fortunate because I don't end up using it. I just use a craft, a scrap piece of cardstock, um, just to like, and I add a flower and like these little reefy, reefy thing to the left side. But it's fortunate that I decided to br bring out my stamps because I realized that I'm missing two stamps two sets of stamps from Vicky Booten. I don't know. And it got me into this frenzy that I needed to find where it was. To this day, well, to the day that I'm doing this voiceover, I haven't found them. I don't know, but the way that I know things work is that when I'm not looking for them, they'll pop up. So I just left it as is, and I just took a break and then rummaged around my April kit and picked out 
some really random embellishments. I also fussy cut out some leaves from um, from a page from a page Evans truly grateful patterns paper. Now I'm adding my picture and then I get started on adding all the different embellishments tone on tone. Now remember that I mentioned that by adding different pieces of patterned paper, it sort of created like this sort of um, ombre look to the layout. Well, the embellishments will have sort of that look too. You'll notice that I don't have a corally color on my layout, but it's it's like that that sort of color between red and orange. And I love this. It was like, man, I used a lot of different embellishments. I did, and I love how it looked. I love how it turned out. And really, I've ho I hope I've inspired you to use up your embellishment stash. See, those are the leaves that I fussy cut out. And I'm just adding. <laughs> I just keep adding and adding. Oh, there's an empty space. Okay, it's pink. Okay, here I have a pink um, ephemera piece that I can add. Oh, I have a pink. Um, I have a pink epoxy sticker that I can add here and there. And that's how it goes. Now, I could have edited out this part where I'm adding all these embellishments, but I really felt like you should have seen the whole process, especially how I layered everything in, because um, some of the embellishment pieces are glued just as is. Some of them are popped up on some craft foam. Some are popped up on, on top of each other. And by having lots of paper layers, it's they serve sort of like as footers to all the different embellishments. I had that clock left over from the Paige Evans Truly Grateful sticker sheet and I used it there. What does it have to do with the story behind the picture? Nothing, but it was a color. Um, it was the color of that section. And I knew that if I didn't use it up now, I probably would have never used it. So there it went. And then I just keep adding and adding. Yeah, I know I went crazy, but I love crazy. <laughs> And then I had this ephemera piece from Paige Evans' Truly Grateful collection that had these little holes where you can, it forms a heart um, where you can uh, stitch. Yeah, st add some stitching. And I do. I added in a purple. I was going for more like a lavender color or even a periwinkle color, but I didn't have those. So it's slightly tone on tone. Yeah, here you can see that I'm like, poking the little holes open but then I come back it's already um, I've already done the stitching I finish adding the last of the embellishments on that purple section in that purple section and I thought about using that word love but I wasn't sure how it would work out because I thought about using it in the upper um, section where the warm colors are, but it wasn't going to work out the way I wanted to. I do cut up some borders from, it's like a frame in that same sticker sheet, and I just place it in the green slash teal section because it the colors went together. And then my title is going to be amazing. 
that's the title. The title is amazing. Um, because it had the rainbow colors and I know that it was going to pair up well, well with the whole layout. And then I grab um, this mist called Before Dawn by Shimmers and I just splatter it throughout the entire layout. And then one thing I don't film is I add lots of Nouveau drops in the empty spaces in each of the coordinating colors plus in black. And I love how this turned out there. You can see the little peaks of the Nouveau drops. I hope I've inspired you to get your rainbow on and use up lots of embellishments, lots of strips of patterned paper. And yeah, guys, I'll see you back soon with another process video.